What is going on guys? It's your boy Most Bone and today we're going to be talking about the most important new feature they added here in NBA 2K19 and that is this whole new reward system that you see at your homepage. So when you click this reward system you see that you need tokens to unlock new cards and that's how you've been seeing people have diamond players, amethyst players that you probably don't like can't find. You can't find them. You have no idea where they are. So if you guys are getting this game on Tuesday, I'm going to help you guys out by telling you how you can get these tokens way faster. So you can basically make a God Squad with this Diamond Melo, this Diamond Charlie Scott. Not that you would want him, but like Peja, Baron Davis. You could get great Amethyst, like not ones here, but you can find like a Larry Nance. A Mike Bibby. Then we start looking at like pink diamonds like Paul Pierce, Grand Hill, Tim Duncan. Cards that usually you would have to wait till like the end of the year that you could be getting now in the beginning. And it's very, very simple. So what basically happens is you have to unlock the later tiers. Like right now, I cannot buy a diamond card. I cannot buy a pink diamond card. So you're probably wondering why would i have advice to give you guys on how to get faster cards if i don't even have the diamond yet but what you guys don't realize is i could easily get the diamond without a sweat like no problem i did things that others haven't to make it all the way to amethyst and what they did is way easier than what i did so let's just go ahead and then show you guys what i'm actually talking about because right now you're probably confused on how to get tokens in the first place so the good thing is you can actually get a token for playing pretty much everything on my team so we'll actually start with what i did to get my tokens which was way harder than what other people are doing and that's to play domination so when we go into domination we're just gonna click nba domination the normal one so this is more of a grind this takes way longer but every time you complete a division in my team you get five tokens so when you basically complete all six you get 30 and then from there, you start completing the last three, which would get you more tokens than just that. So that's a way you can basically get a chunk of tokens, but without really, really spending anything. It's more of a grind. So this one's like a slower method, but like slow and steady wins the race. When you go to fantasy domination to complete a division, you start getting eight. So eight is more than five. So you obviously want to do that, but the games are harder. And then when you make it to the end, these are actually all giving you tokens so you can see you get three tokens five tokens and eight tokens so do the math real quick that's 16 tokens really quick you don't really have to do too much except beat this team and obviously beat all the stuff before that but you get 16 from that 16 from that and that's basically a good enough player that it's worth it but just in a longer span of things and now this is where it gets interesting in all-time domination you start getting a token every time you beat a team and you get 10 when you complete a division i don't know what you're getting for completing the last three but this is the slower grind of things that i'm talking to you guys about where you're basically getting tokens but without getting them really really fast so now if you're really impatient you don't really have to play a game mode what you do is you go into the my team menu and you go into your collection so when you complete a current nba collection you can get a lot of tokens so real quick we're gonna go into the 76ers and i don't have any cards for them but when you click square it shows you that you get 20 tokens for completing this collection so by completing that means you lock it in and you can't sell or do anything with the players you have in this collection and you see that a lot of people have a lot of tokens because they're completing all these collections locking them in to get those 20 tokens real fast if you think about it there's 30 teams if you do all 30 teams somehow which is going to cost you a lot of mt a lot of vc if you want to open packs to get the mt and basically you can lock in these guys for good to get 20 tokens which would translate into better players and that's how people have been getting these diamonds but as you guys can see right now i don't have a single collection locked in in the east or the west not even one so that means i haven't gotten 20 tokens easily not once and i have a chance to do that 30 times which is 600 tokens which is easy guaranteed diamonds probably i could probably get a pink diamond if i actually lock in all these collections so the only thing i actually locked in here is in my rewards we completed all the arenas so the course when we did domination we got all of these and they gave us 10 for each lock as well as the logos so we locked our logos for 10 each as well east and west you also get to do that with the jerseys which is pretty awesome so you get 10 for each of those 
and it's actually more than that because when you think about it you have east and west so when you do the east you get 10 west you get 10 so that's right here this was 40 tokens that i also got for doing domination so now other methods that we were talking about in single player you could go into the challenges mode so not weekly or moments those give you mt when you come in here you see that it says three up top and honestly i never actually clicked it but there's a schedule challenge so when you do all of this you're getting mt throughout the way like the whole time you get an mt 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 and when you make it to the end you get three tokens which takes a lot longer but hey it's a free way to do it and basically you got to figure out which way you enjoy more or which way is more of a grind for you we're gonna keep talking about other ways to do this so we're gonna go into triple threat real quick if you guys don't know what triple threat is it's like a black top version of well it is black top gauntlet all that but in this case you get to pick the players you want it's not random whatsoever you pick your three players and you can continue to use them every single time you don't have to change them not once so use your best lineup show them what you have what you can do and just put like havoc on your team like your opponent this one's a single player one so i believe that after every five teams you beat you get five tokens which is pretty good because the games probably take only like 10 minutes max so hey that's a good grind too triple threat is definitely a way to go now some people such as myself don't enjoy playing games against the computer that's why like domination is a struggle that's why this triple threat might be a struggle but don't worry you can get them from multiplayer as well so in multiplayer you just go to triple threat online and it's the same thing you get a chance to get tokens in triple threat online it's not guaranteed as much as it is in the single player one another method on multiplayer is my team unlimited when you play this mode which is online like super max but without restrictions really when you play this mode you get a chance to earn tokens so if you end up going 12 and 0 you actually get 15 tokens it shows it right there but if you only win 11 you get 10 if you win 10 you get 10 and it shows you like different bases right here on my prize board right now i have currently five because i'm six and oh but hopefully i'm planning to go 12 and 0 and get the 15 as well as a diamond but yeah guys there's also multiplayer challenges so when you go into multiplayer challenges there's one where you have to get a certain amount of assist and you get one for that so they're gonna be updating this like every week i believe like the all the challenges so that's pretty awesome it's honestly a great way to get tokens and tokens are great like just scheme of things it's a different change something we never had before so i really like that there's actually two more slower methods of getting tokens and these are more of like you'll just get them as you go and that is one of them is in goals so when you go into your goals and you scroll over a couple times you see that if you do this thing you get 15 which is pretty cool but that's gonna take you way longer to complete and then scroll over two more times and you find more challenges that if you complete you get 75 and like I said that's way more like way harder you can't just sit here and do this out of nowhere like you kind of gotta grind to get it and then the last way you can get it the like the longer grind of things the slower versions is in collector levels so when you go into collector levels the first one is you collect 20 cards which is really easy you get some for that you get some for 250 cards and then as you scroll down for a thousand you get 250 which is pretty awesome 250 is a lot and i'll show you guys why it's a lot in a second and from there we realize that you can't get any more from the collector levels you can only get players from here on out and these are some pretty cool players that you can get now the last thing you might be wondering is how many tokens it takes to buy anything so we'll talk about that real quick emeralds only cost you three tokens but you have to buy 10 before you can buy a sapphire so that costs you 30 to get through then sapphires cost you only six which isn't bad as well but you need to buy 10 so that's 60. so yeah it cost you 12 for the rubies which isn't bad as well so that's going to be a 120 and then the amethyst costs you 30. so this is where it starts getting to become a lot so you're going to have to probably start closing out those collections and stuff like that so for 30 times 10 that's 300 to get you all the way to the diamond rewards where they cost you 60 for this diamond mellow diamond lewis diamonds marcus can be diamond page diamond baron and then you need 10 more to get the pink diamonds which costs 100 and all this is cool just grind out these tokens see which method is best for you let me know what method works for you i hope this video like is fundamentally sound for you or whatever the case may be where it helps you and i said fundamentals because i saw tim duncan but yeah, I hope this video helps you. If it does, please leave a like, share it to somebody that it might help if you think it will. And then the last reward I never showed you guys is this Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain. And that's going to be an end game card. And that's pretty insane to get. You know these Galaxy Opals. But yeah, you guys know the drill. Balling out.